Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, I'm gonna show you my cheap method for taking all your leafy greens from the seed stage through to system utilizing these. These are cheap silicon ice cube trays utilizing the cotton wool propagation method. Now these cheap silicon ice trays are prolific. They're everywhere. You can go to any homewares store and purchase them and they are extremely inexpensive. They are food safe, dishwashable and reusable. So we can do away with all of those brittle overpriced plastic tray inserts and have something durable that's going to last us a long time to use with our cotton wool seed raising method. And I wanted to prepare this video so that we can utilize this technique in future upcoming hydroponic system designs. So to begin, let's prepare the silicon ice cube trays. So take your ice cube trays and we're just gonna pinch the edge of each cube. Now we're just slicing a small hole to allow water to enter and exit, um, depending on whether you're top or bottom feeding. To begin with, you are going to wanna to water the cotton wool from above just to make sure that it's fully saturated and begins to wick from below, and then you can start bottom feeding. I just cut a hole in the same corner on every cube. This just means that um, the roots have to travel a long way away from the hole if they want to venture into another cube. This is just gonna stop them if they get to an advanced stage getting tangled with other plants. So I just laid out all of the cotton wool in each of the ice cube spaces and I wet it down from above just with water. There's no need to add hydroponic nutrient until the seedlings throw their first true leaf. All of the nutrients that the seed requires to get through to the first true leaves are within the seed, the seed nutrient itself. This isn't hydroponic at really at any stage in this process. This is just a way of starting seeds that you can use for any form of horticulture. So these are lettuce seeds and I was very disappointed that they did not sprout at all. So that I didn't waste the cotton wool, I ended up adding in different seeds. I added in some Joy Choi from a pack that I knew had 100% strike rate. So I put them under lights and this, <laughs> this is the result. Now I am missing a tray because I actually used a tray of this to fill up the modular vertical hydroponic system behind me yesterday. But these are just incredibly healthy seedlings. They just look so happy. And you can tell that I haven't added any nutrient in uh, because there's, there's no algae growing on them. These seedlings are growing exclusively on their seed nutrient. This is the stage that I like to take my greens to before I introduce them into a hydroponic system. If the system's not ready, sometimes I do add in nutrient at this point, maybe like a half strength, the Campbell's Diamond Blue, which is available on the Hydroland website, because that is a propagation nutrient. However, you can just use Diamond Spec T or Diamond White. If you've got it, they're absolutely fine as well. We do not need to baby these plants. These plants are ready to go into an outdoor system. You can harden them off if you like, but I found that just dropping these into a system in the afternoon after the harshest of the sun gives them a night to acclimatize, to harden, and then by the next day, they're powering in whatever system you've got them. I'm just manhandling the camera around at the moment, but I just want to show you another benefit to this. They're actually just hand-sized, so you can carry them around without having to balance like a whole tray of seedlings on your arm or something. And all my plant spacings are full at the moment, so I don't need them out here. But this is the use case scenarios. So I have a space here, and I'm just gonna drop my cotton wool straight into the hole and it'll sit on the bottom of the NFT channel and the roots will grow out from the cotton wool. So I just push the cotton wool up with my finger from below and I can just drop this directly onto the base of the channel. And from here, the plant's roots grow out along the channel. And the roots just take over the cotton wool and it just becomes part of the root mass. 
And I mean, why stop at just cotton wool? Here I have a hydroponic grade of cocoa. And here's the tray that I used yesterday filling up the wall. We can just fill our tray with cocoa if we wanted to utilize a different grow media. And depending on where you get your cocoa from, this could potentially be even cheaper than the cotton wool seed starting method. Like so. And why stop there? These silicon ice cube trays come in all shapes and sizes. So you're really only limited by your imagination. There's another thing that I like about these trays and that is that the base has these channels, which means the water is actually going to make its way underneath our plants and into the holes. It's not gonna seal on the bottom of our trays. And that's another reason why I've cut the corners and not made a hole in the base. These trays are going to be ideal for starting larger plants, fruiting plants, that you wanna transplant out into various hydroponic systems. Anything that requires a slightly larger tray size, you can use these for. I also like the fact that they're in a rather economical quantity. Because when you grab a seedling tray, you always have this impulse to just fill it up. It needs to be full every time. You end up just wasting seeds and grow media. And for the home gardener, Really, you're only gonna to wanna to be starting like six tomato plants at a time, six chili plants, or six whatever. This also gives you an opportunity to keep your different species of plants organized within your propagation trays and the ability to have a single label on each of your silicon ice cube seed starters. One other thing is I found that these larger ice cube trays are actually perfect size for starting Jiffy Peat pellets. So if you leave one of these trays without holes, um, you can just drop your Jiffy Peat pellets in them, fill them up with water, and it gives you the perfect amount of water for rehydrating your pellets. And then you can move them over into a tray that has holes on the bottom. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Futos. I hope I've inspired some new ideas and maybe made your propagation journey a little more enjoyable. Happy hydroponicking, and I will see you next time on Huchos. I love this method. <laughs> this wall is gonna be incredible, by the way. I'm gonna call it the green screen. <laughs> green screens. Greens screen. <laughs> Pretty happy with myself.